All right, so we are doing a butternut squash soup today. And I steamed the butternut squash earlier this morning, so in my power pressure cooker. So now I'm gonna show you what you do to deal with the squash. Take it out of the pan. And then we are going to have to um, peel All it. right, here we go. We've got our butternut squash and now we peel it. There are a couple different ways you can peel it. You can use a paring knife um, or you can use um, a peeler, but you have to get that skin off. And this ketogenic recipe is going to take more than five minutes. More than 10 minutes probably because we have to do this step of peeling and scooping out the seeds. But you can make easy work of it. See, it's not too hard. Now, for this recipe, I use bone, I, I use some broth. I am using canned broth today because I didn't do a roast this week and don't have leftover drippings. But that's okay. I use about two cups of bone broth, as they're calling it now, or beef stock or chicken stock, whatever is on hand. Um, gives it a nice flavor. I'm using Swanson's broth because it was on sale and just a can of it. And that's about 16 ounces, which is about two cups. So that actually went faster than I thought. So now we got to get this done. Do, 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 do. The other thing I use is coconut milk. Um, it's lower in carbohydrate than regular milk. It's got lots of great medium chain triglycerides going on. And I use a stick of butter because butter makes everything better. Uh, <laughs> and my family loves butter. My mother says it's genetic, except that my cousin <laughs> apparently didn't get those same genes. She didn't, doesn't think butter's as tasty as the rest of the family, but that's okay. All righty. So I'm just gonna move these off to the side. Grab a knife and cut. Cut away, see, you've gotta get, scoop out all these guts. So, clearly I didn't prepare for the video too much and I don't have a lot of stuff just handy, but that's okay. Da -da -da -da. This is like the worst part of making butternut squash soup. They used to sell frozen pureed butternut squash at Giant and they stopped selling it. I was so mad because it cut out this goopy mess. I feel like I'm, it's Halloween and I'm carving pumpkins again. Ugh, yuck. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Goopy, goopy, goopy. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. It's all goopy now. Ay, 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 ay. But it's coming out. Yay! <laughs> all right, all right, let's see. No, there's still some stringies. I don't want them in my soup. I want it to be nice and smooth. It will probably blend up. This is probably good enough. The guts just feel weird. The guts, yeah, what am I saying? The seed bed. All right, so that's the bottom that I didn't. Anywho, so I'm gonna toss this. I'm gonna 
cut it into cubes. That'll make it easier to um, blend. And then I'm gonna stick it into my power pressure. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five, all right, so this, I'm gonna cut the end off. Do the same thing here, cut it in half, cut it in half, and this doesn't have any seeds in it, thank goodness. Toss it in the power pressure cooker, and ooh, wipe the guts off my hands. All right, so, now we open cans. Oh look, we're at five minutes. We might make it 10 minutes. The other thing is though with soups though, you gotta plan ahead. The prep time, uh, the cook, yeah, you just have to plan ahead. So here we go. I use this Hamilton Beach. To our um, pot. Oh, that's needs a little bit of help. The beef broth goes in. I'm gonna need a spoon to break up the coconut cream at the top. Now it'll pour. Yay! See? And finally, a stick of butter. Actually, I think I'm gonna put an onion in. So. I gotta set this down though. All right, yes, butter. I use salted butter, so um, just so you know, I think I put about a table a teaspoon or a tablespoon, probably a tablespoon of sea salt in as well. So that helps season it. And the onions will help season it. I'll bring you over with me while I grab an onion. And let you look at my belly as I chop. I'm way too tall for this camera thing. And I'm not getting a professional double lens or any zoom in, zoom out thing going on. No, no, no. Look at this lighting. It's terrible, terrible. All right, so. That's going. Hmm. There we go. Now, chop it in half first. Get a nice cutting action going. Make a dice. Dicing is nice. All right. My hands are still slimy. Handle's not not holding the handle well. Onions. All right, so check it out. That's what's going into my power pressure cooker. I gotta do seasonings now. 
I, I always throw in a dash of this Herbamere stuff. It's kind of salty. It's kind of an all-purpose seasoning. And it has sea, sea salt, celery, leek, cress, onion, chives, parsley, lovage. Yeah, anywho, they stopped selling it at our grocer. And so I get it from Amazon now. But it's something my mom started using years and years ago and taught me to use. And now it goes in almost everything. Um, but sea salt will do. And I'm going to get some, some of my sea salt. I am using... Celtic sea salt. I try to use Celtic or Himalayan sea salt um, instead of the refined iodized salt. So, do -do 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 -do. set this down on a stand. Measure out about a tablespoon. Cross our fingers that that's not going to be too, too salty, but I think I can fix it if it is. Anywho. Um, yeah, so. You could add carrots to this um, to add a bit of sweetness. That does add carbohydrates. We're keeping it ketogenic today, so that's going to be it. 11 minutes. Turn it. Um, lock it. The power pressure cooker is simple, 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 simple. Just turn it on. Oh, I gotta plug it in first. Maybe not that simple. <laughs> so here we go. Can you see that? I press it on. I do 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 soups and stews. And let's see, 10 minutes. It's a little early for dinner right now, so I'm gonna go with 30 minutes. There we go. And then that's just gonna cook. And then I'll come back in a few minutes, an hour or so. So yeah, the prep time for soups and stews is kind of scattered throughout the day. So you have to mentally plan ahead, but Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe below. I'll include a link for more recipes on my website in the, in the description. Have a great day. Hello. Okay, so one thing I forgot to tell you about with these butternut squash soup, you need to blend it. <laughs> so here's what it looks like after we cooked it for like half an hour. Oh, the steam. <laughs> so we're blending and blending and blending. And the steam is messing up my camera experience, but that's okay. Um. It starts out a little bit watery, but in a few minutes, it like, um, some of that water evaporates, it cooks off, and then it gets thicker. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> time to taste it I didn't really follow the recipe very well because I was um, focusing on filming myself the buttery squashy goodness mm. all right so I'm gonna plate this up in a nice little bowl 
garnish it, take a pretty little picture, and um, that's what I'm going to do. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. And again, like, comment, and subscribe.